Where did it all begin? Was there ever truly nothing, or has something always existed? For centuries, two perspectives have tried to answer this ultimate question, science and religion. One relies on equations, observations, and theories, the other on scriptures, philosophy, and divine purpose. But do they conflict or complete each other? According to modern physics, the universe began 13.8 billion years ago with what we call the Big Bang. But let's clear up a common misconception. The Big Bang was not an explosion in space. It was an expansion of space itself. Imagine a tiny, dense, and unimaginably hot point, a singularity, where all matter, energy, and even space and time itself were compressed. Then suddenly, this singularity began expanding, giving birth to everything we see today. Galaxies, planets, even you and me. But where did this singularity come from? Physics has different answers. Quantum mechanics suggests the universe could have emerged from quantum fluctuations, temporary energy changes at microscopic levels. Inflation theory proposes that a field of energy rapidly expanded and created everything we know. The multiverse hypothesis suggests our universe is just one of countless others, born from a greater cosmic process. Stephen Hawking suggested that the universe may have no beginning, that time itself is curved like a sphere, making the concept of before the Big Bang meaningless. But this raises the biggest question of all. Can nothing really create everything? If the laws of physics didn't exist before the Big Bang, what set them in motion? Religious traditions across the world offer a different answer. Instead of a blind explosion from nothing, they describe a universe created with intention by a force beyond time and space. Christianity and Judaism say, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Islam states, the heavens and the earth were a joint entity, and we separated them. Hinduism describes a divine consciousness, Brahman, manifesting reality through cosmic order. Faith teaches that the universe was not a random event, it was a deliberate act. But this view, too, faces questions. If God created the universe, who created God? If God always existed, why can't the universe itself be eternal? Some argue that science and religion don't answer the same question. Science explains how the universe works. Religion explores why it exists at all. So are science and religion in conflict, or are they just looking at the same mystery from different angles? Can science and religious belief coexist, or must one be right and the other wrong? The mystery of our origins continues, but the real question is, what do you believe?